Hello everybody, today we are going to use a couple of balloons to make a body. And then we could use this body to make different cartoon characters. Inflate a blue color balloon leaving no more than 2 inch flat tail. We have to make this balloon soft and fully inflated. This way uh, we are getting rid of the flat tail at the end of the balloon. I am going to use this balloon to make legs and uh, torso of a smurf. And then I am going to use white balloon to make the arms. Alright, now let's fold the balloon in half. Hold both sides of the balloon in one hand about 6 inch away from the spot where you folded the balloon. Right here. At this spot we are going to twist 3 bubbles in one move. Make sure both sides of the balloon of the same length. And now we twist 3 bubbles in one move. That's it. The loop of the second bubble in the middle of the blue balloon uh, has to be big enough size so we can fit 4 balloons through it. And now we have to pull both ends of the blue balloon halfway through the loop of the second bubble. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Ok, we have made the legs and the torso. Here's the back view, the bottom view, the side view and the front view. Put the blue balloon aside for now. Inflate a white balloon leaving up to 2 inch flat tail. We have to prepare the white balloon exactly the same way as we did the blue balloon. Squeeze the balloon to make it soft and to get rid of the flat tail. We are going to work the white balloon exactly the same way as we did the blue balloon. Uh, there will be just one difference. We have to make the second white bubble uh, a bit shorter, maybe inch or two, compared to the second blue bubble. Fold the white balloon in half, hold it about 5 inch away from the center of the balloon and twist 3 bubbles in one move. The loop of the second white bubble should be big enough so we can fit uh, 2 balloons through it. Alright, we have made two white arms. Now we have to attach arms to the body. Pull both ends of the blue balloon halfway through the loop of the second white bubble. Fix uh, the second bubbles next to each other. Blue bubble is on top of the white bubble. Ends of the white balloon on the back side of the sculpture. And now we have to pull ends of the white balloon one by one uh, through the loop of the second blue bubble. We keep the first and the third blue bubbles next to each other. One end of the white balloon goes to the left side of the sculpture. The other end of the white balloon goes to the right side of the sculpture. This is the back side of our sculpture. That's the front side. Congratulations, we have made the body. We can shape the arms bubbles and leg bubbles in different ways. We can use different color balloons to make hands and uh, shoes. Here's the top view. Here we can attach the neck bubble by forcing it between blue bubbles of the body. Here's a bottom view. I'm going to use uh, the same white balloon to make the simplest hand. Fold the white balloon about 4 inch away from the end. Hold it in one hand about 1 inch away from the end of the balloon. And twist two bubbles in one move. We have made the simplest hand. Let's make the second hand in exactly the same way on the other end of the white balloon. Fold the end of the white balloon about 4 inch away from the end of the balloon. Hold it about 1 inch away from the end of the balloon and twist two bubbles in one move. Uh, you can make feet or shoes in exactly the same way using the blue balloon. The, in this example the blue bubbles kind of short to make it. So I am better off making uh, shoes using different color balloon. I use different color balloons to make different sculptures. Here's an example of uh, the same body made of red and white balloons. Uh, this body is suitable to make um, Santa Claus. We can use green balloon to make a body for elves, witches, monsters, aliens and so on. In this example I want to make a sculpture of Smurf. I have made uh, the head in advance, so now I'm just forcing the neck bubble from the top between blue bubbles of the body. That's it. In this example I use head with uh, two faces. So the back side of the Smurf sculpture is the front side of the monster. Here's a side view. Most kids love to play with this kind of toys. Easy transformation from one character to another. Have fun and happy twisting.